global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to Global Happenings Today. There is a lot of bohaha going on right now in a house of representative based on the fact that one of their members who is representing River State came up yesterday parading himself as the leader of the River State Caucus in the House of Representative, lambasted Ikenga was or cheer over his incessant comment over, over politics going on in River State and also called on the leadership of the House of Representative to warn Ikenga seriously that he should stay off and he prided himself as the leader of the Caucus. But shockingly, another member of that Caucus has come up and this time around he's blasting Honorable Decker up, down, and center, which clearly shows that not all of them in River State are standing behind Wicked. Because, from all indication, based on info made available to us, this decor guy, Honorable Decor, is actually standing for behind Wicked. But it, the, the guy who spoke clearly shows that he is very objective, he's not ready to stand by anybody, and he's sending a warning straight ahead to Decor not to, start to speak on behalf of everyone. But then, let's look at full details of what he said. A member of the River State Caucus in the House of Representatives, Awaji Inombek Abiante, has disturbed the group from a statement issued by one of its members, Deco. Recall that Deco had earlier called on the leadership of the House of Representatives to call Ikenga Ugo Chinyar to order over his incessant comment on the crisis rocking the state. However, speaking via a statement on Friday, Abiante, who represented Andonio Obukbu Stroke in Kora Federal constituency in River State, insisted that Deco has no permission to speak for the group. He asserted that he is the leader and spokesperson for the group, and Deco was never granted permission to speak on behalf of the Kakos. A statement which he uh, released reads in part, he said, the River State Kakos in the House of Representatives reads with dismay. A statement purportedly issued by a member representing Yana Gukana Federal Constituency, Deco, calling for the discipline of the coordinator of the G60 lawmakers in the Green Chamber, Honorable Gochinia Likenga, over his position on vexed issue in the party in the polity. While we wouldn't stand against the popular phrase, everybody is entitled to his opinion, we refuse to collectively accede to Deco's self-serving stand as he has never been elected by the River State Caucus to speak on our behalf. It is swift knowledge and backed by precedent that the leadership of the River State Caucus in the House of Representatives and the National Assembly are based on seniority. Honorable Deco, being a second-term lawmaker, cannot arrogate to himself the position of Caucus leader in the midst of third- and fourth-term lawmakers. For the record, Deco was properly elected in 2019, having lost his seat in 2015 at the Court of Appeal, which barred him from being a member of the 8th Assembly. He was recently re-elected in 2023 to save his second team in the House. This alone disqualifies him from juggling for the leadership of the River State Caucus. We call on the general public to discount Deco's statement as vituperation of a good being, he added. He went further to say that the National Assembly is not guided by village council rules and so and as such, everyone reserves the right to make contribution in line with his innate conviction. Honorable Hugo Chinyere has, in the estimation of right-thinking Nigerian, proven himself in the act of quality representation. Deco should realize that a member of the National Assembly is not only representing his immediate constituency but also the entire Nigeria as he is entitled to make comment or speak on issues that threaten the peace of any part of the country for which he all took an oath to preserve and protect. Deco, who claims to be an experienced legislator, should have known this fact and allowed Uzochinia to speak on matters that affect any part of the country as a bona fide member of the House of Representatives. That was what he had to say. I mean, this is causing a lot of tumult, a lot of issues right now among the CACOS members in the House of Representatives. Reacting, Nigerians have taken to the show media to speak. Someone here says the stand of the reverse CACOS in the House of Rape is a welcome development when no one, when one considers he supports a rape Ugochinia to Governor Fubara against his fight with Minister Wiki. Ugochinia practically revealed every step Wiki's camp plan to take to undo uh, Fubara. Someone here says Deco didn't know this right from his left. He should throw in the towel. Another person here says, Honorable Ugochinia, don't have the right, uh, right about the issue of River State. Ibus are looking for who to speak for Namdi Kanu at detention and all of that. Well, well, let's try to be very factual and very objective because 
Uh, one of the issues that have kept Nigeria where we are is too much sentimentality, too much um, ignorance. People just wake up and they say things they know nothing about. One of the rights of every Nigerian is the right to speech. The right to speak on issues objectively. You have the right to hear your opinion as it has to do with Nigeria. Whether you are a senator, whether you are a House of Rep member, as long as you are a citizen of Nigeria, you have exclusive right to talk about any issue in the country. As far as what you are saying is the truth, and as far as it is just an opinion, you are not imposing anything on anyone. And on the basis of that, Ugo Chinye, not just a citizen of Nigeria, but also a member of uh, uh, People Democratic Party, also a, 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 a lawmaker, has the right to speak on any issue and to defend anyone worth defending. So I, I don't know what he means by coming up to, to say that uh, Ugo Chinye wouldn't have to. So thank God that he has been put in his place. And I must say that it's a big shame. Whatever he was trying to, whoever he was trying to represent, whoever he was trying to protect, he has ended up messing up himself a good deal. Someone said Ugo Chinye has every right to speak for the party he belongs. So if you, you, members don't like you better go and drown yourself this one here says why has they not spoken about the allegation label against wiki about the millions of dollars embezzled by his master deco has no constituency project to show for after six years in office and he is claiming of having his people at heart mm -hmm. time has come for the 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 the, the, the boot of the the the, the, the Chicken to be open. This one is honorable Gochinere. You have my backing for your concern, and of course, your outspoken nature, unlike the other person, Deco, whose only concern is to impress his pay master wiki. What a shame. This one here says the response is timely for most Nigerians, especially the river people. We have frowned at that time by the former governor to pocket the state. We're thinking all the state national assembly members are already in the camp of wiki, having brought their nomination and expression of interest from I am happy there are members who are not robots, hence can speak from the details of their conscience. These guys, I think, from my own uh, perspective, I, I think that they love what is going on in the country. They enjoy the corruption in the country. They want the country to get to a state, a state where it cannot be recovered. It is now under the palms of some very few people, so they can do with Nigerians the way they like. That's why you are seeing this injustice already. It has captured the mind of many, and they don't even care about Nigerians. It's really a bad thing right now if Nigerians will keep quiet and keep watching these people. I'm just wondering why is this kind of persons, after you have seen his four years in office, he did not do anything provable for his own people. You people that he's representing, they are keeping quiet and watching him. And that is why you see him coming out to spew that nonsense because already they just they enjoy injustice and they love to see Nigerians suffer. They believe that they have exclusive right to enjoy everything in this country. So why should we be bothered and be troubled? Why should somebody try to make the slate clean? For what reason? Nigerians are born to suffer. We are born to enjoy. So why should they begin to speak up? That's what we're seeing here. And until we wake up and begin to put things right, this will continue. Thank God that someone came up and corrected him. I believe that the person is not in the pocket of Wiki. That's why he's talking. Global happenings today.